What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel, and we are back once again with another Worldwide Player of the Week review, breakdown, whatever you want to call it. We are back, right? So, the first thing I'll say is that we do have another version of Messi. He's down as a right winger. Messi has had so many versions now, lads. He's had more versions than I've had hot dinners. But this is his, I would say, maybe 14th different version. Maybe even more, I would say, that has released, okay, as a player of the week. Obviously, he's tearing it up for Inter Miami at the moment in that league. We've also got the Young with area superiority and Minamino with heading. Um, we've got a couple of other interesting players in here as well. But, you know, Harry Kane is there. Matoma is there. Bit disappointed with the rest of the pack, lads. We've already had a few of these guys within player of the weeks or, you know, featured cards like Nico Williams, Bonaventura, and of course, uh, De Lorenzo as well. Now, De Lorenzo is a fine player. Like, he's a very, very sturdy player. And I like him, but it's just, yeah, I mean, I don't see the point of the player of the weeks unless they're really one of the best versions of the card. And, you know, they're already giving out free messies and stuff like that that will probably continue into eFootball 2024. Um, but this is what I would like the player of the weeks to be, you know, a different position and a different, you know, couple of player skills like this De Jong card looks insane. I've slept on De Jong. I had him when the game first launched. He was an exceptional center back. Uh, I played him there because his defensive stats were really high. Plus, he could be a bit of a baller and the gameplay was a little slower that you could actually play possession a good bit and space. That kind of changed with subsequent pat or with subsequent patches and updates. Um, but I do think that with the way the game is going, this guy is going to be absolutely insane at the back because his his technique, his passing, his his ability on the ball for a centre back is going to be outrageous. But of course, you can still play him as a CMF in a traditional way if you want to, or even a DMF. Lads, this guy as a DMF will be. Like, uh, I, I just I, I just can't see him being anything but an absolute demon as a DMF, right? He just looks insane, and especially with one-touch pass, right? The rest of the boys, Minamino here, uh, he's got standard form, fairly good uh, 94 acceleration with 82 finishing. The one thing that lets him down, again, lads, is going to be that offensive awareness as a whole player, SS. Yes, he doesn't need it to be that high. He's kind of the perfect blend with 88 balance. And you'll have noticed the way Konami are training up a lot of these players now, is that they're kind of leaving them very strong in like two to three areas and then not really focusing too much. Because for a whole player that can play AMF SS, um, this guy probably should have like 80 low pass. But they're kind of balancing the players either by not giving them unwavering form, right? Not giving them certain player skills. So like he does have true passing, but he doesn't have low lofted. Um, or else just, just doing other little bits and pieces to the card. But it's a fine card as a whole player, very strong card. Uh, these two boys, Meccano as a build-up, again, just your standard centre-back, don't need to spend too much time on him, he has all the player skills that you could possibly want for a centre-back, 189, and he's not the slowest either, you obviously can't train up these guys, Nico Williams is the same, just pure speed, dribbling, and power, I would play him left wing, because his passing isn't that great, even though he does have early crosser here, and pinpoint crossing, he does, he does have uh, some nice feet to be able to get shots into the box, or crosses into the box, even though he's only got a lofty pass and finishing quite low, uh, it's more about his actual player skills, so keep that in mind. Vicario, um, this guy, there isn't really much to say about him. You know, 86 reflexes, he's just your standard goalkeeper, even though he's on wavering form and got penalty saver. It's a big no-no for me because he doesn't have a lo long throw or low lofted uh, pass. Um, we also have De Lorenzo. This guy's had multiple additions, lads, multiple. And this, this version of him is not that bad either. He's very, very solid. I know a lot of people like him and play him. You can throw a blocker on this guy, which I think is a bit of a bust, but he still does have unwavering form. Every single stat that he has that you need, apart from lofted pass, if you're playing him as a right wing back, uh, is in the 80s. You know what I mean? So, you know, stamina 89. A little bit disappointed with his balance and his acceleration. Probably should be a little bit higher, but perfectly balanced with offensive awareness and offensive de or defensive awareness with tackling and aggression uh, backed up by speed, acceleration, jump and physical contact and low pass. So you could do worse than get him. Uh, we also have uh, Bailey here as well, uh, 92 dribbling, 96 speed, 89 acceleration, pretty similar to uh, Williams, don't need to spend too much time on him. The big one, I think, for me is Matoma, lads, right? I have used Matoma a lot, and uh, he is so good in the game, right? It's kind of a combination of his player ID, his height, his weight, his style, his motion. Uh, obviously, he's a Japanese player, so they've probably given him a little extra love, He's insane. If you are looking for a left midfielder that plays like a winger, like if you're looking to have the best of both worlds, this guy doesn't have lofted pass. He does have first-time shot, long-range curler, soul control, flip-flop, 
flip flap and double touch so he is going to be insane to use um on the ball and i think that's what kind of pushes him over the edge with that balance and acceleration and dribbling the holy trinity of stats for a winger all in the 90s so definitely give him a try if you get him but any version of him is 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 really really nice he's down as a creative playmaker as well which is very interesting for a left mid okay very interesting we might make a video on that again uh because there is a bit of contradicting information as to what play styles are then as i said i already covered the young and then Harry Kane, a bit disappointing he's not down as a different play style, I think he will, unwavering form, one touch pass, first time shot, true passing, aerial superiority, heading, long range curler, dip and shot, acrobatic finishing, absolutely insane card apart from that, acceleration and balance, right, which I still feel that if you are playing him as a target man, one trick pony, like I play collar, fine, you can use him that way, but you can't really run and gun, and even his whole role here of bringing others into the play and dropping really deep, it kind of doesn't really work with Harry Kane. You kind of have to use a uh, counter target on him. So that's just something to keep in mind uh, if you are getting Harry Kane. Listen, he's a phenomenal finisher. I mean, offensive awareness and finishing in the 90s, high 90s at that, is ridiculous. Um, and in the air as well, even though he's only got 81 heading and 76 jumping, he has all the player skills to, 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 to get that back up. So keep that in mind as well and then last but not least we have right wing forward Messi with 97 tight possession 94 ball control and dribbling 91 low pass 92 finishing 84 acceleration 93 balance this car lads Messi has had a bit of uh I would say a revitalizing um kind of style with the cards because when his standard card dropped in eFootball 22 it was good stat wise it was really good but he just didn't play well and I genuinely think in the last couple of weeks, lads, genuinely, right, they have boosted Messi's in-game performances. He has been unbelievable for me in every game that I've played with him, especially the free card here. Um, I have every version of Messi, I think, that they've ever released, apart from, I don't think I have, well, we got a few free ones. I don't think I have the, I think it's the whole player one. Or no, I do have the whole player one. It's one of these ones that I don't have. It could be this one here. Um, but they're all very, very similar cards, right? But even the free one, lads, or even his standard card, like the, st the stats in the standard card are very similar to the free one. But the free one just seems to be moving differently, lads. I don't know. Um, I did a video on it so you can judge by yourself. But just his movement, the way he gets onto balls, he just seems to be, even though he's a creative playmaker, he just seems to be playing way different than any other creative playmaker in that role, right? And this guy's down as a right winger. Of course, you can still play him as an AMF or an SS. I would play Messi as an SS, not that wide, to be able to cut in and shoot. But you need to be able to shoot and curl. 91 curl, 92 finishing. So that is it for me, lads, for a review, a quick review of the player of the week. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're going to spin or not. You get one free spin, and then obviously you get three chances of getting whoever you want. So let me know if it's a spin or skip, and we'll talk to you in a bit.